Don't even get me started on load six. On load six. Stage six. I can't even speak. I'm having brain shedding now. And I'm having patience shedding and nerves shedding. I hate bringing politics onto my channel. But I do remember this clip of Soro Ramaphosa. I think it was when he was first coming into power. He was going around doing his campaigns. And he said, if you don't want load shedding, vote ANC. And here we are on stage six. <laughs> So that's nice. I'm just chilling in the sun for a bit because this house is like a concrete block and it's freezing. If you can hear that sound, which is really loud, it's our neighbor and his massive generator. I'm sure you can tell from the quality, but I'm filming on my phone. This whole vlog will be filmed on my phone. You know why? Let me tell you why. Because my bloody SD card gave up on me and I remember it did this to me before. Where was it? I went to Thailand. That's it. I went to Thailand. And I was in the middle of filming my room. And that filming was going so well, I remember. And then bam, my SD card gave up on me. And you see this thing? You see this thing? Look how small it is. I'll put it here for scale. <laughs> This bloody thing is like a thousand and something rand. <sighs> My little Oreo. Who's a naughty Oreo? I wish I could be stress free like you. Hmm? All you do is run around, bite an iguana, bite a snake, chase the birds, fight with the moles. So nice. Nice like that. <sighs> sure. This is quite a moment. Ooh. These pages are quite see-through, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Well, this in my hand right here is my completed book. This is the manuscript. It seems quite thin, doesn't it? <laughs> but this is it. Finished. Klar. Kaput. The end. <sighs> I can't believe I even, I can't believe I finished it. So I wanted to start the publishing process like last month, but I wanted at least my dad to read it first and see like what he thinks because I actually like, I, I take the mickey out of him the most out of all of us. I wanted him to read it and like uh, so I could see if he was okay with it or not but you know as you can tell from my videos he's a very good sport and he took it very well so now I'm ready to start the publishing process I don't know I'm proud of the story anyway I heard my dad chuckling a lot which is a good sign because I wanted it to be funny and he said to me that the end in particular was very very cleverly written so you know that's all the validation I need and listen, my dad doesn't like, like, don't think that he's saying nice things to me because he's my father. No, he'll just tell you straight, especially with us. He'll tell you straight if it's rubbish. So, so that's next on my agenda. I'm just waiting for the lights to come back. <laughs> Fine. So I have to show you this because it's so funny. <laughs> so this, can you see? Those thingies hanging over there. My dad is fuming because he put those lines up, those wires up for his granite pillars. And I think the gardener thinks it's a washing line. <laughs> so she put the mats out to dry on his wires, his granadilla wires. Oh my god. Just, you know, some mundane farm things that make me laugh. See, it was popular there. Lots of chaps were back in Jet Dark. Oh, okay. Jet Dark. She better win. What does this mean? Yeah. What? Win 80, 835 Rand. Yes. Is this a win or a, this is the win, eh? Yeah. Win. Yeah. So if you win this one for the 50 Rand, you'll get 835 Rand. Oh, okay. Yeah. You only put 50 Rand. I, I put 100. 100. Yeah. Win, oh. Win, win, win. <laughs> Place. If you get that, it just comes anywhere one to four, mm. you will win 125 Rand. Okay. 
Okay. Get back your money. Yeah, not bad. No, at least. Yeah, at least I get my money back. Yeah. No, come on, that's really big. You, you let somebody who go to rob a bank and take 50. <laughs> yeah. They're not going past. In comes Linebacker, Comedy Jim is on the outside. That's got the blue sleeves and cap. Jet Dark along the inside with the pink cap, then Waterbury Land. Oh, wow. Jet Dark, Jim, what is this, number 12? Yeah. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> My horse came second. It's my horse. <sighs> so nice and warm. Hi, Oslo. How's it? How's it? How's it? What you want? You want my brownie? That's what she said. I'm having a brownie. It's one of my favorite desserts, but they can pay manage to destroy it nicely because it's horrible. I'm coming to sit with me. Come. If I'm sitting outside like this, you must know that it's load shedding and I'm trying to warm myself up. Anyway, I thought I'd do a face mask. Wait, is this the mask? It is the mask. Uh, there you go. I bought this one because it says reduces pimple formation and lightens pimple marks, which I kind of need at this moment, you know? Ta-da! I'm also having a drink because it's sunday sunday fun day you know apply evenly over cleansed face and neck avoiding the area around the eyes allow the mask to dry for 10 to 15 minutes you i don't have time for 15 minutes oh my gosh blah 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 okay sounds easy enough i need to remember that i need to look over here i'm, I'm very lost without my camera oh that feels nice a few moments later Ooh, is that supposed to be burning now one visitor coming. What are you doing? <laughs> doing a face mask. Yeah. You were interrupting my self-care oh, session. Yeah, no, what do you want? Just keep that if you wanted to talk. Oh, no. No, okay. <laughs> I just want to say, there's a hotel there asking, he said it's going to be free a little bit tomorrow. If we can go and see the process. Ma. No? I might as well stay at home and look at you and dad. What? Because you're fossils. basically the fossil. Oh. It's meant to be soothing, not burning. I think because my face is so, like, Dry. broken. Yeah. It's Ooh. a peel off. Yes, I know. Okay. What's wrong? You want to come up here? Hmm? I can see you want to come up here. Come on. Come. I... Your body pain, honestly. Can we just sit on our chairs without you hopping on and off every five minutes? Okay, I can feel this thing drying. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh, that is so... Ooh, okay. When doing this, make sure that your face is completely waxed. Ooh, satisfying. Uh, uh, I hope you're enjoying this absolutely extraordinary content that I give you. <laughs> You guys are so lucky to be subscribed to my channel. Ah, my sideburns. Oh, God. And I know what you're thinking, but how does Sam not have a boyfriend? Honestly, I don't know. Because <laughs> I am such a catch. Like, who would not want this, you know?
This is so satisfying. Look how clean my face, those bloody gray hair. No, your days are numbered, my friend. No, it's over. It's game over. You had your fun. This looks like the car we had. It's exactly the same, exactly colour and everything. the same and I actually went there to see if it's, it's the same old car. But it's not. How Beautiful. old were you when you had this car? That car, yeah, probably about 1990. 32 years ago? Yeah, I bought it at an auction mm. in Pine Town. I paid for it there and I drove it away. And along the way it caught a light. Oh God. The wiring wasn't right in the steering compartment. They were touching. I didn't know that they didn't even tell me. And the thing sparked and caught a light and I quickly just stopped on the side of the road and doused the flames. It looks like constellations, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. With those little bits of something. Yeah. yeah. all the way to Port Teasing, Edward yeah. to see the fossils yeah. and I found the fossils <laughs> there they are fossils I just remembered I made that joke yeah. yesterday the fossils joke yeah, it wasn't that funny <laughs> oh, my hair looks quite nice like this yeah, yeah like you had it oh. yeah. like a pichachi pichachi Oh my gosh, I like this. I look like I've had a proper day at the beach. Mm. Yo.
Okay, so we're back from the fossils and we're hanging our tackies out to dry. Which ones do you think belong to my father? Hmm, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Yes. Beverly. Hello. Hello, baby. Increase in productivity. <laughs> the monkeys are leaving it in peace. Peas and chilies, man. Mm, can make a good curry there. Eh? Someone mm. is clearly bored. Organically produced pea. <laughs> you already told them. Pea sum sativum. Oh gosh. Hey, hey. Nice. Maka. Chicken kebabs in a tomato chutney with spaghetti. I know, I know. I am so domesticated. I know. Really? Good. Yeah. Look, the are really tasty. Oh. Hello. I have a very special piece of paper in my hand. This is um, my driver's license. <laughs> Uh, that's right. I'm I'm a I'm a licensed driver. Like what? <laughs> you know how you're driving your driver's license is like. It's arguably the biggest milestone in anyone's life, right? But for me, it was even bigger than that. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. I already cried yesterday. Yesterday was the first time in my entire life that I cried tears of joy. Have you ever cried tears of joy? Yesterday was the first time in my entire life. I think it was like relief and frustration at the same time that was coming out. When I say that I'm over the moon, I can't even express that sense of elation that I feel. I, I, I can't. And I know it looks like I'm not happy, but I'm so happy. I think this year and a half, the past year and a half has been, I can't even explain what I've been through in the past year and a half. So I think I've become like numb because I, that, I, that's how I feel. I was so scared of a car. <laughs> I was so scared to control a car. And now here I am with my license. The other week or so, it was my first time driving on a freeway. And for like three seconds, <laughs> the three most exhilarating seconds of my life, I was going at 140. <laughs> and it was the most exhilarating experience of my life, those three seconds. Anyway, so like when I look back now and think of how scared I was of driving and now I'm here, with my license and I was driving on the freeway at 140, which I'm very proud of, as you can tell. Um, I'm just so proud of myself because I never thought that I'd be here. It feels really good. It feels really good. And like, 
gradually oh no 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 not gonna cry not gonna cry it's the most amazing feeling because i can see that finally things are falling into place you must know when you've spent 10 years in a, living in a different country you must know how difficult it is to readjust to your country just like getting back into the groove it took me a really long time and i was really hard on myself i kept calling myself stupid because it was taking me so long but i keep forgetting that i spent like 10 years living in a different country so like yeah it took me a year to readjust but like i need to just take it easy on myself you know like i knew i'd get there but I don't know why I was under so much pressure to get everything right immediately. So yeah, the 12th of July, 2022. It's a day I will never forget. Even if I ever get married one day, I'll forget the date of my wedding anniversary. But I'll remember the 12th of July, 2022. I'll never forget my inspector's name. Um, her name was Princess. To me, she was like an angel. Her name should be Angel, not Princess, because she was so unbelievably kind. I, I don't even have to tell you like how nervous I was yesterday. I was like on the brink of vomiting. <laughs> That's how nervous I was. But she, you know, the inspectors always have like this reputation of uh, being mean. I don't know if it's just like in South Africa or if this is like a worldwide thing, but like they're always so mean. Like they, they always wanna throw their weight around, throw their power around. And like the test, the driving test is already so nerve wracking as it is. So I don't know why inspectors feel like they need to be mean on top of that and make you even more nervous. But she, I don't know. I don't know how I struck it so lucky with her, but like she was so kind and so chilled and she put me at, well, more at ease than I was. And I was under even more pressure because I was just like, I'm only doing this once. I'm doing this test once and not again. So I was under more pressure to pass it the first time, but I did it. I did it. There was a point in the test where I thought I failed because <laughs> she pulled me to the side of the road. Now, usually if they pull you to the side of the road, they're going to tell you that you failed and you need to get out and go back to the passenger seat. So we came to a stop and she was like, okay, now I want you to do an emergency stop. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> woman, why are you doing this to me? When we got back to the office, She's still not telling me whether I passed or failed. She's like making me sign things and she's signing things. And then in the end, she was like, oh, you passed, congratulations. <laughs> and I didn't cry at that point. I was just like, I, I can't even, I don't know what that feeling was. I was so overwhelmed. That sense of relief, it was like immediately, like a whole concrete block was lifted off my shoulders. And then when I went outside, I just burst into tears. And finally, I unlocked the door to my freedom and to the rest of my life. Yesterday was the start of the rest of my life. Anyway, uh, I promised myself that when I passed, I would gift myself um, with a full body massage because goodness knows I need it. My body is broken. My stress reached another level. Now it feels so weird. Like I feel so much lighter. I woke up today knowing that I never have to think about another driving lesson in my life. I never have to do this test ever again until my next life. <laughs> the most exciting thing now Again, I'm very excited, even though you can't see it. But the most exciting thing now is I'm, I'm, I'm car hunting and it's the most amazing feeling. Like I am looking to buy myself a car. This is my first car and I'm going to buy it. Yeah, it's just... <sighs> yeah. Now I just need to find money for petrol. <laughs> petrol is almost the same price as a new car. So <laughs> buying the car is like half the battle. While I'm here... 
I just want to thank Ms. Saloshni Naidu for your contributions to my last video. I really do appreciate it. Kissy for you. Don't forget, if you super thanks my video, you will get a shout out in my next video. Hello. I'm just waiting for my two old bats to finish walking. Oh my gosh. You know one thing about our town? People are really friendly here. Like when we go for a walk, 100% every single person who passes us will greet. And like so friendly. And everyone's like so excited to see us on the road. They're like, wow, enjoy your walk. I don't understand. I'm just like, oh my god, it's too early for that amount of energy. And like today, someone got off the taxi and he was like, oh, hello, do enjoy your vlog. Your vlog? Oh my god. No, he was like, hello, do enjoy your jog today. And I was like, thank you. He was like, he said it like so like Shakespearean. I don't know. It was very strange. I don't know. Everyone's like super happy to live in this town except me. These people are definitely from Joburg. It's still holidays, that's why. They stopped here to get breakfast and they, there's a chicken outside and they're like so fascinated with the chicken and I'm just like, um, welcome to our town. <laughs> like here, if you don't see a chicken walking across your path, it's weird, you know? So. Also, look at my face. <laughs> I, okay, I know I look like a mess because I've just finished my walk, but look how clear it's looking. It's crazy. And I'm glowing, like, okay, that might just be the sweat from my walk, but uh, it's crazy. The, like, the amount of stress I was clearly under because of my license, and as soon as it's done, it, like, everything's just clearing. Everything. Like, look, look! Uh, <laughs> oh my god, look at these chickens! Okay, I know I was just complaining about these people looking at the chickens, but look at these chickens. Look at it, with her little babies! Oh! Oh my gosh. This is how I'm gonna be with my 10 million kids one day. <laughs> Cute man. Oh. <laughs> Look at that one straggler. Oh my god, that's me. Mom, why do you walk like that? Like that. Mom. What? Leave me alone. I'm not even touching you. I'm not holding you. I'm not even near. Mom. Stop it. Why are you coming back? Mom, <laughs> then you'll phone me every day. Get away! What are you doing? Really? I'm not doing. What time are you eating? I should come back. Fuck it up. Get away, Ma. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> so childish, isn't it?